this episode of Acton Up, we explore the history of one of Acton's largest events, the Leathertown Festival. According to the festival website, the Leathertown Festival began in 1991 as a distinctive family event that allows the community, businesses, and people of Acton to showcase the best of Acton. It got its title after Acton's nickname, Leathertown, which Acton received after a long history with the leather industry, starting with the Nell's Tannery in 1842. Staying relevant in a changing province, Leathertown Festival is now in its 26th year. Oh, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. We'll be back after these brief messages.
Here on Act Enough, we've committed ourselves to providing you with the most creative community content. And with that, we're constantly looking for original local music and art. If you, your event, organization, or business would like to be featured on Act Enough, hook up with us at up.communicate at gmail.com. We caught up with some of the main organizers of the festival. Sheena Switzer is the manager of the Downtown Acting BIA, the organization which runs Leathertown Festival. The Leathertown Festival started in 1991 as a grassroots initiative uh, to showcase the best that Acton has to offer. Over the years, um, Acton has remained one of the last true small towns in the GTA, and we continue to honor our past and be a very grassroots festival um, with outstanding entertainment and um, a world-class mix of vendors. So the reason that the Leathertown Festival is named the Leathertown Festival is because of the history of the leather and tanning industry in Acton. Um, everyone is pretty familiar with the slogan that it's worth the drive to Acton and we've stayed true to that over the years and honored our heritage and past here. At the Leatherton Festival, we invite um, between 80 and 100 vendors. Uh, we have a mix of both food and craft and arts vendors. Um, there's really something for everyone. We offer family entertainment, bouncy castles, face painting, henna tattoos, and um, our musical entertainment this year, we're really excited to have Sharon and Bram from the Kids Entertainment Group, Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Um, as our headline act, they'll be on the main stage at 1.30. Some of the bands that we'll be showcasing this year, other than Sharon and Bram, will be Silver Creek Folk, The Tradition, The Treetop Poets, Matt Morgan and his band, and The Bourbon Brethren. One of the biggest elements of the Leathertown Festival is our annual car show. It takes place on Willow Street and we welcome um, a, quite a mix of cars. We have everything from classic cars to custom imports. Um, we have motorcycles and race cars and we do offer some awards for best in class. One thing that we're really excited about at this year's Leathertown Festival is a partnership with Heritage Acton. Uh, we will have a booth dedicated to the history of Leathertown. There is a book release being done at the festival and uh, we will have a booth with artifacts and some information and photos about the tanning industry and what life at Beardmore would have been like in Acton. The Leathertown Festival is something that doesn't happen overnight. We start planning for the festival almost as soon as it's over for the next year. Um, there's a team of really dedicated volunteers and we're really fortunate that we have such wonderful community members in Acton wow. that are willing to dedicate their time and energy to bringing the festival to life. A professional event coordinator with experience organizing, among other events, the Stratford Blues and Rib Fest, Kim Duncanson is the main stage manager for the Leathertown Festival. So Kim Duncanson. I'm a volunteer for the Leathertown Festival and I've worked with them. The Leathertown Festival which is hosted by the Acton BIA since 2012. So the last five or six years and it's been a very very successful run. We started off with one teeny weeny itsy bitsy little stage off in a corner 
a dark corner. <laughs> and we now are, this year, we have four separate stages, one at either end of the event, binding the event so that our patrons walk back and forth in front of all the vendors that are lining the street. We have downtown act and close. We have Mill Street from Highway 7 right up until, right up to uh, the railroad tracks and the GO station close to vehicle traffic. So it becomes a promenade. We have unique vendors and artisans plenty of food for everybody who's hungry and different food and of course all your fun food, the food that's no good for you. Each stage runs continuous shows starting from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. in the afternoon and our entertainment is geared towards the people of Acton, the families that live here, uh, the people my age retired who have moved to Acton, and the people who would love to come and visit Acton because we have great entertainment on our downtown street for Leathertown Festival each year the second weekend of August, a Sunday. Leathertown Festival moving forward um, is looking to increase its ability to draw attendees within the local community and beyond the, the local community. It is worth the drive to act and it always has been. We have increased our offering on the stages that present artistic performances. Each year we've presented a fine Canadian act, ones of the highest caliber. For example, 2012. With our new mission, we introduced Chuck Jackson to act in Ontario. Multi Juno nominated performer, Juno award winning performer, as well as having many accolades awarded to him as being a member of the blues community in Ontario and the host of the uh, Southside Shuffle, the very popular Southside Shuffle in Port Credit, Ontario. The following year, not to be outdone, the Johnny Max Band performed on our stage. Johnny Max Band, Juno nominated, two times awarded, two times nominated, uh, an outstanding band which just had everybody hopping in the street. Johnny Max himself is a very, very talented performer and engages the audience to participate with him. He was very, very exciting. Following that, we had the Kings. The Kings are the authors of one of the anthems of our time, Switching the Glide, often heard on the radio, Old Rock Standard. Next, we had Jack DeKaiser, Juno Award winner, two-time Juno Award winner, seven times Maple Blues Award winner. Very exciting act, followed by Bill Durst, no less exciting. This year, we're going to honor our stage with Sharon and Bram, children's entertainers, multi-Juno Award winners, a career spanning 20, 25 years. People of my age, in the 50 to 60 range, may be more familiar with them as we raised our children on them. So we're looking forward to that. We've also added the car show, reintroduced the car show. It was always part of the Acton Festival, Acton Leathertown Festival for many years. 2014, we reintroduced the car show and uh, hope to have Great attendance this year, exceeding 200 cars, grazing our side streets for the walking public to view and look at. Hold up. We'll be back after these brief messages.
Leathertown Festival is actually more of a street fair, similar to the Ninth Avenue International Food Festival in New York City, or the Solano Stroll in Northern California. Fairs go all the way back to Roman times and possibly before. In some countries at one point, fairs required a royal charter to be held. According to Statistics Canada, 37% of Canadians attended a cultural or artistic festival in 2010. This represents an increase of 57% since 2005. In comparison, Canada's gross domestic product grew by 18.3% over the same period. Tomorrow, right here on Mill Street in downtown Acton, we're going to be having the 26th annual Leathertown Festival. Now more of our footage of our interview with Kim Duncanson. In 2016, we hosted Jerome Godbu, a very exciting harmonica player, International Blues Challenge Award winner, international award winner in his genre. Graced our stage in 2016 this year, coming up 2017. Our stages will be graced by the ever famous Sharon and Bram of Skimmerinkidinkidoo fame. <laughs> That's going to be so cool. Looking forward to that. I raised my children on it. In order to accomplish our mission, our objective of increasing local attendance, having our local attendees invite their friends, we surround our main acts with local acts. We have quality entertainment growing up right here in Acton, of high caliber, worthy of main stage, worthy of supporting the fine acts that we are bringing to Acton for the first time ever in most cases. We discovered that we had so much hidden or unappreciated local talent that in 2014 we added a second stage. That stage features talent, young people, old people from Halton Hills, celebrating what we have to offer and giving them an objective to work towards. To play a festival looks great on your resume. And Leathertown Festival is a festival worth having on your resume. Our attendance has soared from 7,500 in 2012, with good weather, to, we believe, over 15,000 in 2016, again, with good weather. We're an outdoor festival. The Acton BIA partnered with Inspire Halton, who hosts the Inspire Halton Talent Bash. The winner of the Talent Bash will appear on the main stage. The runner-up from the Talent Bash will be on the tannery stage. What a goal to work towards. So we hope that we are able to engage our younger talent, our talent period, in an ongoing way that they have something to work towards, a, a, a goal, something that is meaningful. At Leathertown Festival, we are trying to provide a valuable opportunity for our performers, artists, artisans, and cultured people to work towards. We want to showcase their talent on one of our stages at Leathertown Festival. Please join us for the 2017 Leathertown Festival in downtown Acton on Sunday, August 13th.
you believe that I could be somebody? Thanks for joining us on Act and Up. If you have an idea for a show, hit us up at up.communicate at gmail.com or in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, including hitting the notification button so you know when we upload new videos. Until next week, I'm Alex Olson, and this is Act and Up. Ha <laughs> ha!